Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Doom Eternal, where we have found a new gun, the um, chain gun. Very, very neat. Um, I, I, I by now can't say how powerful this wonderful weapon actually is, but that we will find out over time. I will, of course, use it. Use it, use it, use it. Okay, no response right here. We have the key for that. And um, reactivate the power. Okay. Okay, can't do anything with them controls. But the big question is now how we can reactivate the power. Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> it is. I assumed. Uh, well, no need to jump down. Nothing up there. Did I, I feel I've missed something. Okay, we can't go through that door. From here we came. We can't do anything right here. From up here we came. Hmm. How can we... Reactivate the power. That is now the big ass question at hand. I probably don't want to do anything right here because it's all toxic. What do I not see? That is... The spot where I'm at right now. I feel like I've overseen a important thing. Okay, our objective is right in front of us. Ah, okay. The is in a dormant state. Two nearby control terminals will need to be manually activated to restore full power. Unlocking the left terminal room now. Okay, sometimes um, the indication with the R3... Um, I don't... Um, uh, sometimes I just oversee it, weirdly enough. But well, fair enough. Fifty percent of power has been restored. The second control terminal still requires activation to destroy the nest. All right, and I'm unable mm. to open the door to the second terminal at this time. You'll need to find an alternate route. Okay, then I will kill him like so. Gone he is. To be honest, it took me really a little while to get... Ask not what we can do for you. Ask what you can do for us. Well, uh, I hope nothing. It really took me a while to get used to this game too. Well, to at least to the controls. Which um, I certainly am no... Um, pro gamer of any sort, but slowly that worked all out. That is the great part right now because I'm in certain stages, of course, am having some sort of problems. Of course, that's the usual thing in games when the difficulty gets higher. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! I thought I have actually had refueled our um, chainsaw there but that's the usual thing if the difficulty of the game gets higher and higher then um, in certain parts you always have some sort of problems but the overall controls really hard very hard to get used or to get a grab on for at least for me uh, maybe for other people it was differently and they got um, there to that spot more easily but that was just me Oh, hello. Come on. He is down. Not too much of a problem. Very, very nice. Ask not what we can do for you. Ask 
DSS. Okay, just to down. So this guy, these guys are, in my opinion, very, very nasty in the end. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, and then we theoretically only need to face one more bloody demon, and this is this jumpy demon here, which obviously deals a large amount of damage to us right now. Okay, bring him down, refill HP, and good we are. Nice, okay, we need to use this telop. Oh, 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 I fear something very, very bad coming up. And that is a very, very jumpy part and a very, very nifty part. Come on, bring him down, nice. this direction and no 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 that is certain death for us so as you can see we are at the end of this episode in a spot where we have a well not as easy part in front of us come on and here's everything clear of course So these little guys here are actually quite nasty in my humble mind because they are so, so fast and oh goodness there is, sadly enough there is some sort of totem around which spawns over time of course new enemies that is unacceptable. But my question is where the totem actually is. We can um, um, easily take it down. It is just one blow from our elbow. But the, the big part is to find the wonderful totem. That is the very, very nasty part right here. It ain't here. I guess it ain't over there. Okay. Bloody hell. So this guy's down. Okay, I think we need to get up there. But the big part, the big bummer for me is how... Ah, okay. Did I just over... Yes, I over... Oh! There, of course, we need to... Jump down and... Okay. One more try here. Getting over here. Nice. Then we can jump up and are on the totem side. But guys, that actually is the end of this episode. And you know it. I don't fall down. Don't fall down. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then... Please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.